All right, so we're doing a preview of the Monday Night Football game between the Miami Dolphins and the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans are coming off with a 0-3 record to start the season off. Um, they have not had any progress in their team as of yet. They have lost to the Bears, a debuting Caleb Williams on the comeback. They lost to the Jets, who uh, Aaron Rodgers did well against, and then they fallen against the Green Bay Packers just last week. So in this one, Tennessee Titans are looking for their first win. Now for the Dolphins, our team, they have quite, a, they got quite some problems on their hands. First off, uh, what we already talked about, Jack, we beat the Jaguars on the game when you feel cold. Then Tua got hurt against the Buffalo Bills. And Skylar Thompson being as horrendous as he was, got hurt and we don't have a QB. So. In that progress alone, we have signed Tyler Huntley, the the backup quarterback from the Baltimore Ravens, who have been who has been pretty solid backup for Lamar Jackson a couple of years ago when they were trying to make that push for the playoff spot in 2021-2022 season. So what we found out a few days ago is that he is going to be starting QB tonight against Well Levis uh Tennessee Titans tonight. So in this preview alone, it's going. We're, we are going up against Will Levis. Uh, Tua not playing, of course, for obvious reasons. Uh, you got uh, Pollard going up against A. Shannon. Uh, Ridley, uh, Calvin Ridley, who is still, who is still um, starting off okay. He did get. He does have one touchdown uh, in the season so far, but eight receptions. 136 yards. He is he's looking to to have a breakout. And same with Tyreek Hill. He is looking to have a breakout um, right now. Uh, but will Tyler Huntley be the one to give him the ball? And Jalen Waddle. And the big question is: Can the offensive line protect the damn QB? So when we look at the uh, last five matchups, I don't even need to. I don't even need to look this up. But the last few last five matchups is this. We beat the Titans week week one, 20, 28 season. In week one, it was that seven hour rain delay, and then you know, kickoff return, Ryan Tannehill, all that. Um so I wish Ryan Tannehill would have been part of our team. Uh however, since then, it has been has been it has been quite nightmarish against the Tennessee Titans. Since then, um as far as I remember, 2021, 2022 season. We have been absolutely obliterated by the Tennessee Titans. Um, and, and that's, and granted, that was up in uh, Nashville. And then, once again, uh, falling behind against them. And then, and then the most recent game against the, against the Tennessee Titans was, and then, and then, you know, Ryan Tannehill was their quarterback when they beat us. I think they beat us twice. And one of them was try. We were trying to get into the playoff race, and the other, the other, which was, which was very close, but couldn't get close enough. And then our most, and then the the loss that hurt our chances to win the AFC East was last year's Monday Night Football. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I recapped the game last year. I was, as if you have seen me, seen that recap, go back and watch the video from last year. I was so pissed that morning, the, the the morning of, the morning of after the Monday night game. I was incredibly pissed off. We should have had this game. We should have had this game. Like, really. We should have had that game. We should have won. But Vic Fangio's defense was so inconsistent. And we lost by Will Levis. That is unacceptable, unacceptable loss from last season. And, of course, on Monday night where the, the game matters most, especially when there is a superstition and the narrative that we can beat bad teams and cannot beat good teams. Well, Tennessee was not that great of a team, and then we and then they have, and they have scored 14 unanswered points against us where the game where we should have won, but we didn't. And that hurt our chances to win the AFC East. It really did. 
And then we all know the rest of the story. We don't want to talk about that. So the Dolphins have a big opportunity to end the losing streak against the Tennessee Titans, who are 0 for 3. This is quite the even matchup now because nobody has a QB. We just, nobody has a QB, okay? So um, in this matchup, it's going to be Tyler Huntley going up against Will Levis. I don't know who's going to win this game. I hope the Dolphins win somehow, some way. But again, I won't be surprised, but very, but really pissed off and, you know, frustrated that the Dolphins would lose again on Monday night against the Tennessee Titans. We have to get that revenge back. We have to win against the Tennessee Titans. Otherwise, we, we, we can pretty much kiss our season goodbye. And losing the Patriots next week would probably be the, be the one that says, yeah, no, we ain't making the playoffs. We have to look ahead immediately. But we'll see what happens. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, Monday Night Football preview, Monday Night Football tonight, hit the like button and subscribe for content because Miami TVG has you back. And when it does, hit it right there with the entertainment you deserve. This is Miami TVG. So, folks, good night, everybody.